boys and girls, would you like to learn how to draw a sun and moon drawing inspired by Mexican folk art? Just watch. This video is intended for students 13 and older. I would like to ask you to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get weekly notifications of my video. And any materials used in the making of this video can be found in the description below. Years ago, my wife and I would make trips to Mexico for holidays. As an artist, I love to go to the artist markets to see various works of art. It was there that I first saw some of the sun and moon ceramics works and I just became in love with them. I also grew very fond of the Oaxacan fantasy animals. Going to Mexico was a real experience for me to purchase items that I would use in my classroom because they were so colorful, so full of life, Little did I know about the real history of these items. I like to share some of that with you now. Mexican handicrafts and folk art is a complex collection of items made with various materials and intended for utilitarian, decorative, or other purposes. Some of the items produced by hand in this country include ceramics, wall hangings, vases, furniture, textiles, and much more. In Mexico, both crafts for utilitarian purposes and folk art are collectively known as artesiana. as both have a similar history and both are a valued part of Mexico's national identity. Mexico's artesiana tradition is a blend of indigenous and European techniques and designs. This blending called Mestizo was particularly emphasized by Mexico's political, intellectual, and artistic elite in the early 20th century after the Mexican Revolution. Today, Mexican artesiana is exported and is one of the reasons why tourists are attracted to the country. And it's these arts that have attracted Mr. Smith to return and return and return to visit Mexico and purchase some of the wonderful artesiana arts that fill this country. So today, this work of art is inspired by the Mexican artesiana. This is a drawing of a sun and moon ceramic piece. I hope that I do the artist justice by my work of art.
I'm done. My sun and moon drawing. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. Girls, I want to thank you for coming back to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids today to learn how to draw this beautiful sun and moon drawing. I had a great time doing it. I hope you did too. Just remember, do a few things for Mr. Smith. Like my video, subscribe, hit that bell, and share it with a friend. And remember, come back next week to Mr. Smith's Art Room for Kids. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.